This is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Here's the latest in all things mobility. New York City, the Big Apple. A bustling metropolis whose buildings constantly echo with the sounds of taxi horns and pedestrians shouting at them, hey, I'm walking here. But by 2030, those iconic echoes might be a thing of the past. That's because investment bank UBS estimates that robo-taxis could cut the number of cabs in NYC by two thirds by the year 2030. What's more, the robo-taxi business itself could be worth upwards of $2 trillion by then. The windfall of those profits could be a boon for car makers, tire producers, and microchip and telecom brands. Who will lose out in the era of robo-taxis? Cabbies, of course. Beaded seat cover makers and rear view air freshener companies are also sure to take a hit. But the real victims will be the New Yorkers, who self-therapize every morning by verbally exercising their daily dose of rage on the city's human drivers. I mean, shouting at a self-driving Chevy will be way less cathartic. Okay, we get it. Concept cars are supposed to be wild and crazy visions of future mobility. But this one has us seriously scratching our heads. The Chico, which is Spanish for child, for those of you who prefer to parler francais instead of espanol in school, explores the idea of a purpose-built autonomous vehicle that shuttles kiddos to school. Good idea. Also smart is the concept's playground-like floor, which is upholstered in carpet to encourage playing. But here's where it gets weird. The Chico also incorporates a swing-like seat designed to convert swaying movements into energy that charges the battery, which seems questionable. I mean, does that mean the Bambinos have to work to power their ride? Is this a human hamster wheel? And if it sways based on the vehicle's movements, does that mean an innocent kid could get bonked in the head by this kinetic contraption? Look, we love the basic idea behind this wacky concept, but hope there's a safer, saner version 2.0 somewhere down the line. And finally, Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz, has set a lofty green-themed goal for itself. By 2039, every car built under the Daimler umbrella will be carbon neutral. That's one big umbrella, too. Last year alone, the German company sold more than 2 million vehicles worldwide. The initiative is called Project Future, which kind of sounds like a 1990s sci-fi film with flying cars and a hard-driving techno soundtrack. Vehicle electrification, car sharing, and leaner and greener production methods will all play roles in this 20-year plan. If Mercedes has its way, in 2039, you'll still be able to drink the water and breathe the air, but the relentless dance music will slowly drive you insane. Oomcha, oomcha, Project Future. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech, and be sure to follow us at Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.